Th Fred, thank you so much. Well, drug overdoses are now the leading cause of accidental death in the United States, and one Birmingham man is trying to change that by creating a device that would send an alert if someone is overdosing. Our Jillian Brooks sat down with the creator of OD Revive and shares his hope for this wearable device. Jillian. Claire, Kyle Berman is, a is in long-term recovery after struggling with addiction for years. Now, after losing several people that he loved to drugs, he decided something needed to change. Last year, Kyle Berman watched a friend lose his battle with addiction and said enough is enough. The stark reality is, is that fentanyl isn't going anywhere and we have, to, we have to adapt. After purchasing an Apple Watch, Berman was inspired by the technology and thought, what if something around your wrist could help prevent an overdose death? A lot of research, I've spoken to uh, countless doctors, nurses, first responders, fire lieutenants, app developers, hardware professionals. And what he came up with was this, OD Revive. It's a wearable device that measures oxygen saturation in the blood, a main indicator of an overdose. We pinpoint that, identify it, uh, and then um, that's when the alerts will initially alert the individual and then it'll be sent out. Berman says being a recovering addict himself, he's thought about the product through a user's eyes. Right now, the project is waiting on funding to turn the concept into a reality. The device will then go into testing before hitting the market. What I just want to do is make sure that people are here long enough to have a second chance at recovery and then we're going to try to give them all the tools, resources available federally, state, local that they can use to find recovery as I have. Berman hopes to utilize community organizations to make sure that this device makes it onto the wrist of people who need it the most. We are going to change the way the world responds to overdoses. Now, OD Revive is patent pending and also a finalist for the Alabama Launch Launchpad Pitch Competition. Claire? Thank you, Jillian.